Okay, so I might have done this problem, but I'm gonna redo it because I can't find it. Okay, so here is a problem. Am I here sticking up? Okay, so here's the problem. Uh, I have a diving board and a person standing on the end of the diving board. And you'll notice the diving board have two supports like that. And so we want to find the force for both of these supports. Here's what we have. 80 kilogram person, kilogram. This is a four meter diving board and these uh, supports are 1.5 meters apart. And the diving board is 30 kilograms itself. Okay, so the board itself is in equilibrium. If something is in equilibrium, then we know that three things are true. We know this, the net force in the x direction is zero. The net force in the y direction is zero. And the total torque about any point, total torque, torque net O equals zero. Those three things have to be true, and you could say z direction too, but I'm not gonna say z direction. Those three things have to be true for it to be in equilibrium. So let's draw all the forces acting on the diving board along with the location that they're acting so that we can calculate the torque and then we can solve for things we don't know. Okay, so here's my diving board. I'll draw it right here. So remember, I still have that rule of long range versus contact forces. So it has to be touching the thing. And I have one long range force on that diving board and that's the gravitational force. So that gravitational force really acts on all parts of the board. But it turns out, and I didn't derive this for you, it turns out that the we can pretend like that gravitational force acts at the center mass of the diving board. And if it's a uniform density, the center mass would be the center. So we have the gravitational force right here, M board G. That's the gravitational force. Now, what's touching the board? Well, we have the two supports. So I have this support, I'll call it F1, and this one, F2. And if you say those are in the wrong direction, you're thinking ahead and you're probably right, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm saying they're both pushing up. Finally, I have the normal force of the person pushing down. But if I draw the person, I have MPG, NP, the normal force in the person. And so this is the board pushing up on the person. So the board pushing, the person pushing down on the board is the same value. So this is gonna be the same as the mass of the person times g. It's not, it's not the weight of the person. It's not, okay. I'm gonna put it there anyway. So I know, I, I wanna show you why that's true, okay. I mean, I don't wanna, I should put the normal person pushing down on the board, but it's equal to the weight. I don't wanna have another free body diagram, but I could. Okay, so from there, we can see Let's do it with our first equation. The first equation says the net force in the x direction zero. So this x plus this x plus this x plus this, oh, they're all zero. So zero equals zero. That's not that much fun, okay. Now I can do this one, net force in y direction zero. So let's write that down. F net y, that's gonna be F1 plus F2 minus MBG minus MPG. Okay, so I know the mass of the board, I know G, I don't know F1 or F2, so that one equation I can't solve. I have two unknowns in one equation. So now let's draw, let's do the next equation, the torque about some point is zero. Now, the board's not rotating. It's not rotating about this point. It's not rotating about that point. It's not rotating about that point. I can pick any point I want. If I pick a point where one of the forces are, like right here, then this force, won't exert any torque about that point because R will be zero. So that would be nice to get rid of one of those forces. So you could, you could redo this problem and pick any point you want, and you should try that. But I'm gonna pick this, point O. So torque net O. So remember, torque is the force times the distance from the point to the force times the angle between those two. So let's deal with this first one. The torque is zero because the distance is zero. So now the next one is gonna be F2 times 1.5 times the sine of 90, which is one. And that's gonna be a positive torque because this would make it rotate counterclockwise. So 
So I'm gonna leave that as positive. This next one is going to be MBG times the length from here to there, which is two meters. And that's going to be negative, negative MBG times two. It's negative because it would make it rotate clockwise, which is a negative torque. And then finally you have this one, minus MPG times four. And that has to be equal to zero. So from that, I can actually solve that. This is F1. This is F2. So from that, I can actually solve for F2, because there's only one thing I don't know in that equation, and that's F2. So I'm going to add this to both sides, and I get F2 times 1.5 equals MBG2 plus MPG4. And then I can divide that. F2 equals MBG2 plus MPG4 over 1.5. And I can put that in my calculator real quick over here. Okay. So 30 times 9.8 times 2 plus 80 times 9.8 times 4 divided by 1.5. 2482. Now, I can use that to solve for F1 up here. So I can take this equation and say, solve for F1, I get F1 equals MB plus MP times G. I can, when I move those both to the other side, they're positive, and I factored out the M, and the, I factored out the G, which I could not do because I had, a, I had a number for the distance over there. This is a four so. And then minus F2. So now I can put into my numbers since I know F2. Let's do that. So I have 30 plus 80 is 110 times 9.8 minus 2482.67. And I get negative 1404, negative 1405. Negative, that's important, negative. So in the end, I have this one's pushing up. But this one, since I got a negative value, it means I was actually wrong. This actually pulls down. So this is pushing up and that one's pulling down to make it so that it doesn't flip. So if you just put this on two board sticks like that without connecting it, it would fall off. It has to pull down. Okay. And you'll notice that this plus this does equal the total weight. That has to be true too. Okay. There you go.